Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, where we are celebrating Michael Limon's mom, Barbara, her birthday today. So what better way than to enjoy some surf fishing down here? It's so nice to have them with us. Feel really blessed to have this lovely family down here. And James is here, and of course, Dan Lightfoot. It's really a fun time down here. We have got so much to catch you up on Bluefin Tin up there in the Channel Islands. Some really good foamer fishing. I'll explain in just a minute what foamer fishing is, in case you don't know. We've also seen some big yellows at San Clemente Island. Catalina Island starting to heat up a little bit. And of course, the long range situation has been really great. Big Wahoo, excellent yellowfin tuna fishing, some big yellowtail, and sometimes the guys will go into the coast on their way home and slam the white sea bass and calico bass. It really has been outstanding. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Well, I got uh, kind of zapped by Facebook. I thought I'd let you know. Remember Paulina got the hook in her leg uh, maybe a couple months ago. Paulina down in Mexico. She's my co-host when I'm in Mexico. Paulina Varela, who will be up here in August. And we'll let you know where and when you can meet her. Anyway, to make a long story longer, she got a hook in her leg. And she toughed it out and continued fishing in a tournament. So we put a photo up of the little bit of a scar or a little bit of a wound she had on her leg. And now a month or two months later, whatever it is, excessive violence. I was tagged for posting things that are excessively violent. So I apologize to you all. I'm being facetious. Hey, she got a hook in her leg. She overcame it. She toughed it out. I think we should admire people like that, but whatever. Anyway, and one more thing I've got to hit you up on right now. It is somebody's birthday today. It is Mark Sonoda's birthday. He, of course, is on board the Amigo over there out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, San Pedro, California. Mark is a great guy. He works so hard, and I feel very blessed to call him a friend. Happy birthday, Mark. <laughs> All right, don't forget. Hit that like button, share these videos with a friend. Deeply appreciate it when you can do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. Tick the little bell, you'll be notified when there's new content. Facebook, you can follow us there. Instagram, TikTok, and of course, Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So great to be here with you all. All right, let's go south of the border down to the beautiful little town of Ensenada where Paulina lives and talk about their bite because there's that inshore yellowtail bite, bird schools of yellowtail. That has been very, very productive and fairly consistent. You'll find those birds on schools of bait that are forced up by the game fish like yellowtail and you get over there and throw an iron and you are likely to hang a nice yellowtail anywhere from, oh, 10 to 20 pound fish in their surface iron, like a Taddy 45, works really good. Don't throw anything less than 40 pounds when you're fishing the iron anywhere. I like 40 pounds, sometimes even 50. I get a little bit crazy, but some really good yellowtail action. May not be every day, but it's fairly consistent. Most days you'll get a shot at that. If that doesn't work out, you've got sand and calico bass that are biting pretty well. Some really excellent barracuda fishing at times and plenty of rockfish also. So there's all kinds of options available to you 70 miles south of the border in Ensenada. You can also go offshore and chase around those foamers of bluefin tuna, and that is pretty good fishing. And kelp paddy yellowtail to add to it. But if you find one of those foamers of bluefin, man, a little dart jig like a Daiwa Sakana Colt Sniper 120 gram jig works really, really well, and it's been very productive. Other guys are trolling Mad Mac lures and still having some success doing that also. So some really good fishing offshore also. Ensenada in general, really nice fishing, great Baja hospitality. I know you're going to love it if you head down there and enjoy yourself. Hey, there is a 2.5 day trip with a friend of mine, Ernie Montano. Ernie has a 2.5 day trip departing from 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. It departs on August the 8th or pardon me, August the 6th, fish is till August the 8th. If you'd like further details or you want to grab one of the last two spots available, you can call 22nd Street Landing at 310-832-8304. All right, let's talk long range out of San Diego because there's been some outstanding fishing, no doubt about it. Long range boats leave in the morning hours and then they start to head down 
to the Alijos Rocks area, most 500 miles down the Baja coast. On their way down, they keep their eyes open and hit kelp patties and pick off some yellows and some bluefin tuna. A lot of guys are kind of trying to straight line it. In other words, just run straight to their destination because fishing has been so good down below. And it remains that way. Royal Polaris on a recent trip, great fishing on the yellowfin tuna, on the yellowtail, on the wahoo. The XL right now had great wahoo fishing. Really, really excellent. And they're catching yellowtail on the beach here today. They went in to the Baja coast and now they're catching yellowtail. Real great variety of fish on the long range scene right now. The Intrepid, you know, I, I could just go through all the guys. Royal Polaris, the Independence, any of those guys who've been down there fishing that zone have had nothing short of outstanding, outstanding fishing. So that is continuing to head in the right direction. Let's talk bluefin tuna and let's talk about what's going on for landings from San Diego all the way up to the Channel Islands because we continue to see really outstanding fishing going on. Now, south of the border and even up there near the Coronado Islands in some chances, there's some real foamers of bluefin tuna. There's some great nighttime fishing, but there's some good daytime fishing. Most of that fish in that area. You know, the, the big fish are up here near the Channel Islands right now and around San Clemente Island, but the fish a little bit south of the border are 18 to 40 pounds in most cases. You'll find some big ones in there also. But those foamers are up. Foamers are just, you look, and the ocean seems like it's foaming because it's blue bit tuna up there feeding, jumping out of the water, chasing bait. It's super exciting fishing, my friends. It is the best. Your heart will get pumping. Your adrenaline will surge when you see a bird school off in the distance and you feel the motor surge ahead and the boat starts to run even faster and you shut down and the captain says, go at it, man. Go at it, and it is as fun as it gets. On the Highliner, I just talked to Max, who's on there right now. He said, Bill, we got 11 fly fishermen on here. And, man, I'll tell you, the foamer fishing's been outstanding. Last night, we only had, like, four guys fishing, and it was really good nighttime fishing last night. So they're having great fishing on board the Highliner right now as we speak. The Fortune 10 fish in the 100 to 150 pound class. First day on the Islander out of 350 bluefin tuna. The Pegasus, man, have they been hot. Captain Alec, Captain Sean Hardigan, the rest of the crew on the Pegasus, a boat that I chartered with Joe Chait for many, many years. Man, they're putting the wood to it. Limits on the bluefin tuna. 10 of their fish, 60 to 80 pounds. Another 10 in the 100 to 150 pound class. Does it get any better than that? Apollo, 2.5 day trip. 60 bluefin tuna, 22 yellowtail. Pacific Dawn fishing those kelps now. He was on an overnight trip, 36 yellowtail, six Dorado. The Grande had 38 yellowtail. So some pretty good hits going on. Now the kelp patty fish, the yellows are eight to 20 pounds. They're mostly on bait. You can catch them on the iron from time to time. 25 pound test, floral, when they're not biting that well and they're finicky, and as always, you're choosing a really good hot bait. But also, in addition to that, you're going to want to have some 40-pound fluorocarbon to make sure you can put the wood to those fish and keep them out of that kelp if they'll bite it. You know the game you're playing here, everybody. you got to get bit to catch a fish, but you want to have as heavy a line as is possible. So be observant. Talk to your crew members. Watch what everybody else is doing and how they're getting bit. And that'll make all the difference in the world to you. So some really nice fishing going on. Now that big fish is up there around San Clemente Island, out there towards San Nicholas. The boys out of the Channel Islands have that fish 30-something miles from them now. So Channel Islands with some nice weather forecast for the weekend is really looking good. I'm hearing some noise back there. I'm thinking, are these guys catching fish? I don't know. Looks like maybe a little bit of kelp on Barbara's line there. We'll see. But really big fish. So that big fish, 100-pound spectra. Uh, the jigs that you're fishing at night, 350 grams. Have been working really well, but I'd have them right up to 500 in case you get wind and currents. A little breezy out there again today. Looks like it's going to calm down for the weekend and be really, really nice. So we'll see where that all goes. And there's daytime kite fishing on big fish. Also fly line fishing on big fish. Recently, the Independence had a five-hour wide open drift on kite fish and fly line fish, fishing 30 to 40 pound fly line. Really great stuff. Big show on the fish. Exciting 
times for sure on the bluefin tuna. That is looking really, really good. Hey, tax problems, unfiled taxes. You want to talk to our friend Tim Marquez at Best Income Taxing. If you have heating and or air conditioning needs, talk to John Lopez. John will take care of everything for you at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. Let's talk islands. Coronado Islands showing like they're backing off a little bit. That wide open bite has backed off. It's not as wide open as it once was. It's still decent yellowtail fishing, but I don't know if the boat pressure finally got to it or the fish swam off or they've been hammered pretty hard. It's one of those things. Not quite sure what it is. It could also be a temporary lull that's going to come roaring back at any point in time. We're going to watch that for you very, very closely. The Mission Bell, 12 yellowtail. The Point Loma, 10 yellowtail. The San Diego, 30 two yellowtail and 61 barracuda. So once again, we are seeing some really good scores, but not those great wide open scores that we once were seeing. We'll continue to watch that for you very closely and see if it's going to bounce back. In this kind of a bite, you're definitely going to want to back off on your floral carbon. You're going to want to be fishing that 25 pound, even a smaller hook and a good hot bait makes all the difference in the world to your success. Seems like there's still a lot of yellows there. There's less boat pressure. During the weekdays, we'll keep our eyes on it and see where we go from here. All right, San Clemente Island still pumping out some really big yellowtail. No doubt about it. Sheba Cat was on the old glory out of San Diego, and they went to San Clemente Island to give that a try. Thought, let's go up there. Yellows are bigger. You know, the kelp patty fish are a little bit smaller, but we can get some really big grade fish up there. And they had a great trip. Sheba Cat said that the bite was excellent. 14 guys, 34 on the yellow tail. Nice hit for them. Fly lining 30 to 40 pound floral carbon. One surface iron fish also. And nice big fish, as you can see, on board the old glory. I don't know how you can beat that nice going on. Um, also, the El Dorado, 22 guys, four bluefin. Remember, those bluefin are up there, and they're running reverse day and a half trips. So they go out in the morning hours and then fish all night long. Sometimes, if it, the weather's nasty, they'll go in and fish that yellowtail. Other times, they'll go straight bluefin. Four bluefin, a couple of halibut, 18 yellowtail. On board the aggressor, they ended up with 19 yellowtail. And Alan offered. Alan's a great Freedman Adventures family member, along with his entire family. Alan got his personal best yellowtail. On board the aggressor at SCI, San Clemente Island. Nothing wrong with that. We are happy to see that happening. So really, really good stuff. Thunderbird with 17 yellowtail over there. So really good stuff. Check it out. There is a plate of Bonito. Some of you think it's not good eating, but that looks pretty darn good, as provided by the old glory just the other day. Mm, delicious. I would love to uh, partake in that. Also, if you want to get 10% off any order at promarahi.com, I'm talking about lobster hoop nets. I know it's a little early for that, but gaffs and gloves and jigs, anything you want, all you have to do is go to promarahi.com, put in FA at checkout, and knock off another 10%, including on their new fluorocarbon GT4. That fluorocarbon is priced less than other fluoros, and you get more in the line, and then you knock 10% off, and you're in the driver's seat. Catalina Island, we continue to see a few yellowtail out there, you know, picking at the bass and the barracuda, picking at a variety of different species right now. So once again, we'll continue to watch that for you very, very closely and see how it goes. As I say, boats like the El Patron with a couple of yellowtail here and there, not wide open. The Pursuit had three yellowtail out of 22nd Street Landing, and then bass fishing, Go to the light line, 15 pound. I know you're going to get messed up in the kelp once in a while, but you are going to get bit every single time if you drop down to 15 pound floral carbon. 20 pound will work sometimes, but just remember, bass fishing, light line, and it works wonders. It will work really, really well for you also. Keep that in mind. And I'll give you, we'll walk, oh shoot, I thought they had a fish. We'll walk down there and see what these guys are doing at the very end of today's report. So once again, cat, okay, up there in the Channel Islands, guys are picking at the bass and the barracuda. Some guys do pretty good on the calico bass and catch some barracuda. Also, not bad at all. But other guys are falling back on the rockfish, and there's nothing wrong with that. They've had some great rock fishing going on. Now, some guys have gotten a little piece of the white sea bass, but we haven't seen that big explosion quite yet. Tomorrow 
Eddie Berrigan leaves on a trip. Uh, dear friend of the Freedman Adventures family and Doug Tilt, who does so much for us here, helps us in so many ways. Doug's going to be on a two-day trip. I see white sea bass written all over that one for those boys. My fingers are crossed. Aloha Spirit had 55 barracuda yesterday and a smattering of other species. The Mirage had five halibut and two white sea bass. They've been dealing with windy weather up there. Once that weather comes down, look for that to rebound. And it looks like that two-day trip that uh, those guys are going to be on, it's going to be breezy but fishable. And I've got high hopes that they're going to crank some good fish on that trip. Up in the San Francisco Bay area, a tremendous halibut fishing up there. It can't get any better than it is right now. So really good stuff on the halibut up there in that neck of the woods. Two fish is the limit up there in San Francisco. And the boys up there have been cranking those two fish limits on a regular basis. Outstanding fishing. Along the coast, great sand bass fishing down in San Diego right now. I don't know how it can get much better. You know, we were down in Ensenada previous to this, several months ago, and we were catching sand bass with my friend Louis Prieto on It's For Reels Sport Fishing. Great operation if you're ever in Ensenada. Louis a great guy, great boat, and a lot of fun. We were catching sand bass with six or seven followers right behind them. And we were saying, man, if this would ever move up and get in here on Huntington or get in here on San Diego zone, that would be something. Well, it's happening. There's a really good amount of sand bass in San Diego right now, and it is biting. It's such a great time to take kids out on a local trip. All those San Diego boys, the Dolphin, the new Seaforth, several of those boats are all over the sand bass right now. So get in on it while it's biting, and who knows? Is this the progression that we've been waiting for? Is it just going to be laid up here in Huntington Beach? We'll see how it goes. Down there around Dana Wharf, sport fishing, Oceanside, releasing a lot of small calico bass. Pretty good action down there up here in the L.A. Orange County area. A little bit of bass, but it acts more like it's freaking December here. Sculpin, whitefish, rockfish, same thing up there in Marina Del Rey. There's been some real slow days on the local scene, and there's been some days that are okay, not Great. Up there in the Channel Islands, mostly rockfish up there along the coast. A little bit of sand bass also and a few barracuda up and along the coast. So we'll see how that all plays out also as we continue to watch. And if you want to go to Catalina Island, you better jump on board the El Patron because you'll get an ultra limited load trip with a great crew, a great boat, quick boat too. It'll get you over there quickly and you'll have so much fun. You can get on. The El Patron, and I highly recommend you do it. I've done it many times, and I love it by going to www.longbeachsportfishing.org. Make sure you do that and have some fun on board. The El Patron, you're going to love it. Ventura Sport Fishing, don't forget the Island Spirit has plenty of room for you tomorrow. You can jump on board the Island Spirit. They leave at 8 a.m., come back at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And again, another boat with great customer service and wonderful fishing. You can do that by going to 805-676-3474. Get on board the Island Spirit and have the time of your life up there at beautiful Ventura Sword Fishing. And also go to VenturaSwordFishing.com. In the surf, we've got to mention Big Fish Bait and Tackle in Seal Beach, California. Drop in there, buy their ruler. They have a ruler to measure your catch with. When you buy the ruler, now you're in their monthly giveaway. And they give away a beautiful custom rod, beautiful custom surf fishing rod. All you have to do is catch the largest fish, and the species changes every month. There's no extra money you have to spend. You're in once you go down there and buy that ruler, and then they'll give you all the rules and how you upload your photo or and or video to Instagram. So do that. Some good uh, yellowfin croaker fishing down around San Diego. Some good corbina fishing around Huntington Beach. So far here today, I haven't seen these guys catch a fish. So I don't know about right here, but up in the Santa Monica Bay, Sam De La Torre from Island Fishing Tackle says they've been catching yellowfin croaker and some corbina in the Santa Monica Bay area down by a beach called Rats Beach, Torrance Beach area. That's been good up there by the Topaz Rock Jetty. And then right by the Redondo Pier, really good corbina fishing El Segundo area. A little bit of that going on also. So a lot of great stuff. And hopefully you'll be able to take advantage of it. All right. I don't know what's going on here with these guys. Let's take a walk down and say good morning. Hey, should we go down and wish Barbara a happy birthday? Maybe we should.
See what James is up to here. First of all, James is fishing, man. I thought he was just kicking back. Hey, James. Morning. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? All right. Good to have you here. Hey, boys. What's up? Hey, Mom, should we go wish Mom a happy birthday? Let's go. Let's do it. Hey, Barbara. Happy birthday. Go give your mom a hug. Let's do it. Woo! I know. <laughs> all right. And Dan Lightfoot, right here also. We're all having a good time. All right. Phil Friedman here for the morning briefing. Dan Lightfoot and James. Come on, boys, catch something. I know. A lot of weeds so far, but we're hoping for some fish. All right. Take care, my friends. We'll see you again really, really soon. Phil Friedman here on the morning.